Harry Jacobs played his college football at Bradley University in Peoria, Illinois, and in 1959, he was drafted by the Detroit Lions. He played in the then All-Star game under a coach named Lou Saban, who saw then that Jacobs would make an excellent middle linebacker. But Jacobs didn't make the team at Detroit and moved to the Chicago Bears, but was waived. The following year, Saban brought him to the fledgling AFL Boston Patriots, making him their starting middle linebacker. When Saban moved to Buffalo in 1963, he brought Jacobs with him, where he started for the next eight seasons. He, Mike Stratton, and the late John Tracy played together for 62 consecutive games, a professional football record that stands to this day. The blitz is on with linebacker Harry Jacobs set to rush Tom Flores. It looks as if Jacobs is going to be taken out of the play, but the baby-faced assassin storms through, spilling Flores for a 12-yard loss. Jacobs is the only player who played in the first and the last game in the American Football League throughout its 10-year existence. He played in 91 games for the Bills over eight seasons, and after retiring, Harry became a permanent resident of Western New York, establishing a successful family business located in Hamburg. He has served in many leadership positions, including vice chairman of the Greater Buffalo Chamber of Commerce and the board of directors of Hilbert College. Harry Jacobs forever enshrined in the Greater Buffalo Sports Hall of Fame.